Although they weren't high school sweethearts, Keith Whitley and Opry star Lori Morgan certainly are the perfect pair. Have you had your first fight yet? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had it before you got married. He's right? just trying to think how many we have. Yeah, had. I'm just trying to... I can't remember back to the first one. <laughs> no, no. Okay, maybe they're not perfect, but these newlyweds are in love. And not only did they work together on Keith's debut video, it was also a joint effort to set up housekeeping in their newly purchased Nashville home. Although Keith gives Lori all the credit. I was on the road at that time about four and five days a week. So I just came in off the road and we looked at the house and it was exactly what we'd been wanting. And uh, so she did most all the getting the house ready and everything. Me and Mary Lou. Yeah, her friend Mary Lou. <laughs> Keith and Lori got married last November. It's the second marriage for both. They met at the Grand Ole Opry, and in 80s style, Lori made the first move. She came up to me and, and told me that I was her favorite male singer, and then I proceeded to tell her that we'd have to get together for dinner sometime. That, that, you know, so I called her the next day and got her code of phone, and I thought, well, she'd probably not even return my call. And she called me back that night, and we got together the next, the next day. Now, you're my favorite singer. Is that kind of like, where have you been all my no, life? No, no, I promise. No, listen, that was the honest God truth. Because I had been a fan of his for a long time, and I had been listening to a lot of his uh, bluegrass tapes that he had. But no, if I'd have thought, where have you been all my life would have got me where it did today, I'd, I'd have said it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Keith has been getting a lot of attention since the success of Miami, Miami. Although he's just now emerging as a country star, he's been in the business since his early teens. And Lori, whose father was an Opry member, also has a working knowledge of the ups and downs of the music business. I think that the fact that Lori grew up in the business and that I grew up in the business, it makes it easier for me to understand some things that she may have to do or easier for her to understand some things I may have to do. And I don't have to be Keith Whitley, the entertainer, when I come home. So as they embark on their new life together, along with Morgan, Lori's daughter from a previous marriage, Keith is watching his career rise to new heights. Is the success that you're seeing now as sweet as you dreamed it would be when you were 16 years old? It's a lot better. And when you uh, think at several times in your life that you're not going to get the chance to do it for one reason or other, that it is never going to happen for you. And then when it finally starts to, it, it, it's really great. But I'm really excited about 1987. I think it's going to be our year. Oh, coming 63. Well, here's the scoop. Keith and Lori aren't wasting any time starting a family. She is already expecting their first child due in late summer, but so mm -hmm. far she doesn't have plans to uh, slow down her schedule. Really? Anything. Okay. Well, family life is treating them both real well. Mm -hmm. You know, Lori is, uh, as John mentioned there in the story, is the daughter of the late George Morgan, who was a member of the Grand Ole Opry. And Keith said that he met George years ago and had a great talk with him backstage at the Opry, but had no idea that he'd end up marrying his daughter 15 years later. <laughs> you know? Great love story. Yes, sir.